morning, this is Ryan Mentz, and today's video, I'm here at a new spot to me. Um, I've been here about six times now, and the first three or four times, uh, it was earlier this year, like a month ago, just complete silence, no birds. It was so weird because it has everything that a bird wants. It's just uh, a beautiful place. And so I'm excited that uh, a lot of birds showed up now. They're just stacked on top of each other. You got multiple birds perched up in the same tree sometimes. Um, so it's just uh, a wonderful thing I wanted to share with you. Um, this morning, I thought it was gonna be cloudy, but uh, it's, it's about as sunny as it gets. And so, I'm gonna have to work with that light. Um, normally I like shooting in this direction, which is great at sunset because the sun's over here. Right now it's morning, so the sun's peeking up over there. I'm gonna have to shoot in this direction mostly. Um, in this direction, it seems like the warblers don't hang out as much. Um, the tree line is over this way. And so this way you have uh, American goldfinch most of the time, um, Eastern Towhee, uh, sometimes you get indigo bunting, um, but we'll see. We'll see uh, what happens on both sides. Sometimes it might be nice to shoot into the sun, get a nice backlight, but uh, we'll see what happens. One of these song sparrow appears to be missing its tail feathers. Still moves around, okay. Two of them chasing each other. I'm trying to be flexible with my focus point here. It's nice when they chase each other because they seem to pay less attention to you. So one thing you want to look out for is uh, if the bird is uh, paying any particular attention to one perch over the others. So like I said, these two song sparrows are just chasing each other. They're not really paying much attention to me, so I should pay attention to what perch they kind of favor and move towards that, since right now I can more than likely get away with it. So to me, it seems like they're favoring these perches right here. <laughs> So we got these clouds moving in. Uh, the sun's there, it's getting a little high in the sky. It's very directional lighting, so that's gonna really open up a lot of possibilities once those clouds hit. All right, so I'm gonna start heading back to uh, where I'm parked. That's where it seems that there's a chestnut sided warbler hanging out, yellow warbler chasing each other. And uh, the clouds are probably about 10 minutes away from getting to that sun. And I'll come back out here uh, once that hits. But uh, for now, I'll go see what the warbler situation is and get some sips of coffee from my car. The challenging part of photographing warblers, of course, is that they love perching up higher in the tree. And so you just kind of have to wait it out, be patient. Uh, every once in a while, they'll drop down, give you a couple good clicks, and then they're right back up in that tree. And this is where pre-focusing can really come in handy because 
most of the time, there's only a few select spots where they're gonna drop down to. Um, you gotta keep in mind what kind of perches that they'll actually use, so um, it's gotta have uh, enough rigidity. Sounds like the golden wing warbler has arrived. Here, I'm singing up in the tree here. Well, if we're lucky, he'll come down. caught an all-sided flycatcher roll through in and out pretty quick. So one thing I like to do when I'm shooting in overcast light and some dense foliage is to get a bird perched low and shoot through some foreground leaves to it and then uh, just adjust the camera little by little so you're getting a little gap in the foreground leaves so that the bird is clear and sharp whereas everything else around it is gonna fall to a nice soft green blur. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Hopefully you enjoy these images that I shot here the past couple days. And this is a new spot to me, but so far it's been super promising. There's a ton of different species. It's really cool to see, and I'm excited I was able to share that with you. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>